I think we can be proud of us. Uh, going into this event, we prepared really well and we did some really good damage to really strong teams. And, uh, you know, we, we are not anymore in that um, French rivalry. You know, they are, G2 is one of the top teams, one of many, and we are just here to beat top teams, no matter what they are. So, you know, going forward. The team to beat, um, I don't know if there is one particular team that, you know, everyone wants to beat. I'm guessing Astralis, because they did so well in the beginning of the year. But for me, it's a, like, it's a trio, right? It's a G2, SK, and Stratis. And I could say also FaZe, but I don't know why. I'm not like, I'm not feeling that it will last too long. You know, they are definitely a really good team and a top contender, but I'm feeling that G2 is coming right up. You know, it's my personal feeling. I think that uh, they have really strong players and Carrigan helped immensely to, you know, make them play good. But I think when I watch them, I don't know, their system might be might be a bit flawed. And, you know, I'm just feeling that G2 is going to grab that third spot. I think they, they work more on that uh, chemistry and team play that, you know, every team wants to get because it's really good when you have it. And I think phase might be a bit slower and maybe not when they pick it might be just a bit lower than G2 when they do so yeah that's why I will start with Nico because I think he's an amazing player I'm gonna go all-star okay uh, I think it can mesh up really well with Cold Zero uh, mm -mm -mm. I will go with Fallen as well definitely and um, I have four, right? Yeah. So the last one will be... So I have two Brazilian, one Bosnia. Uh, it's really hard, like so many good players to pick from. I think I will go with uh, Dupri. Yeah, Dupri. Well, I can talk about the preparation we have, we had coming into this event. We really like I noticed that when we won rounds, <coughs> when we are playing in the summit and uh, Dream Act Tour, it was because of individual like brilliance. And uh, I really focused uh, during these three weeks on practice, on building a team play and rounds that we don't need uh, like five extra to win. And I think that's what I'm going into, uh, getting rounds where all the players can express can express themselves and where one player can set up a player that set up another player to do good. And I think this is my goal because actually it's really fun and it works really well. Well, what are they doing exactly, right? Uh, this is a problem. I, uh, it was a, like definitely a really big boost when they come up with the majors. It was insane. I mean, everyone wanted to be at the major, wanted to win, wanted to be like part of the club. But I think that Valve definitely took a step back. Maybe uh, you can see it on updates. Okay, they're working on new map. I mean, they are reworking maps. But you know, you don't see any updates anymore. You don't see, I mean, good updates. And you see the same problems still persistent. And I don't know. Maybe they. They should make like a move. They should try to invest more they sh because it's paying off. I think CSGO is a great game and I think there are so many fans around the world and we still haven't gone into the Asian market. I mean, there are so much things that they could do to make the game better and make the experience for the players even better. Um, yeah, but th they have to like go into it and go deep, but they just don't. It was really fun because I never experienced like being in in an environment that is so chill and so cool. And I think they did a great job of making player comfortable. And I really want to thank them for that. Uh, it was just overall really good. Even if we didn't like made any good impression, it was such a good event to play at. Uh, so it's still fresh. It's still pretty new. Uh, I think we are working pretty good together. 
we always talk, we always try to find out new stuff, new strategies, new ways to think about the game. And even if we fight, actually, sometimes, it like only positive for now comes out of, of, of um, our relationship, which is really good because you can fight, you can be like you can agree together, you can get disagree, and we always come up with something new, something to look forward, something to move forward. And uh, I think, yeah, overall, we, de we do a great job working together. For more CSGO interviews and analysis, subscribe to our channel. You can also find stats, discussions, and more on our website and mobile app at blitzesports.com.